Hi everyone, so I'm going to be making a video on how we can use the dot push method in order to change pages. So what I'm going to be doing here is just setting up a brand new project. And I'll say no for TypeScript and no for ESLint. And now that's done, we'll just drag and drop it over. And what we're going to do is just go into the pages, index.js. And I'm going to remove all the contents in between the main here. And we should have a default template like this. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be or linking to another page by using the dot push method. Let me just actually look up the doc. I'll show you guys the documentation on this first. So let's go to next link or let's go. Let's search for push. Okay, let's see if they actually have the push method on here. Okay, so it's not this page. Let's go to router. Okay, so this looks better here. The first thing it shows us we have to do is use this router. So we need to import use router. So let us, at the top here, import that. And what it says next is we have to add this const router. And before we continue, I'm going to make another page. I'll call it dashboard.js. And I'll have the default template. And I'll just put h1 tag here and say dashboard. And I'll go back to the index here. And right here, I want to actually uh, use the router, but let's go back to documentation first. So we could have a button. I'm going to set it up slightly differently, but I'll add the button, no problem. Paste it right here. And instead of it being directly inside the button, I'm going to make a separate function here. And what I'll do is I'll take this, I'll move this inside the function, and I'll just call changing pages. So this uh, brackets with the arrow sign is just saying only on button click, then actually run this function. If we don't do this, um, it'll just automatically push it and cause these errors on the screen. So here for the button, I'll say, let's call it something else like go to dashboard, save it. So what's going to happen here is when the user clicks on the button, there'll be an on click functionality that says let's change the pages, which is right up here, this function, it'll call this function and it's saying route to and change to the about page, but we don't want to go to the about page, we want to go to dashboard. So we can just say dashboard. We don't need the .js. So once we click on the button that is go to dashboard, it will just go to this dashboard that we have set up for the route right here. So let's save it. And I'm going to go to my terminal and run this application. And let's go to localhost 3000. And you can see we have the button. That's all we set up. It says go to dashboard. If we click on this, 
You can see now we are on our dashboard page and we have su successfully changed the page. Even in our URL, you can see it says forward slash dashboard. So it does work. And of course, we can always navigate back by doing the exact same thing. Um, you just have to set up the router and like all these like push methods in order to change the pages again. But this is how you go about using the push method. I'll save this code on GitHub so you guys could take a look on how this is set up as well.